Good morning, friends, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Drew. I've got bacon gouda. And today is Sunday. I believe it is day six of us vlogging every single day of 75 Soft. I feel like these last few days I've really slacked and we've eaten out a lot. We've just been busy. Gabe went to the ER. We just we've just been going through it okay um and lots of things happen that we don't show you guys so it's just like life has been nuts um but i'm proud of myself because i have stuck to every single thing i've worked out i've read my book i've drank my water i've ate healthy i may have eaten out but i've actually ate healthy and like done the right things which is so big for me because you can even ask gabe like i feel like i constantly will start something and then an inconvenience happens and then i just like i'm done no more done for me right I think you're doing great. And so I feel like I'm really proud of myself that I like have just been sticking to it. So I wanted to show you guys this morning. I've been doing getting a, a low calorie coffee, co coffee, coffee, a low calorie coffee every day for you guys so that I can tell you guys what I think about it. So today's coffee is the iced salted caramel mocha. It's 75 calories, three grams of fat, 12 grams. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means. Hold on a second. You're awesome. Thank you thank so much. You. you too. Thank you. Um, so it is called the Salted Caramel Mocha. You get a grande cold brew. I got a grande iced coffee with no classic because I don't like the cold brew. You get one pump of sugar-free vanilla. I got four. Um, and then you get two pumps of toffee nut, one pump of, of mocha, and light cream. And it comes out to be um, 75 calories. So here she is in all her glory. I'm super excited to try her. She looks chocolatey. You ready, game? Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Really? I love her. Really? That's probably my new favorite coffee. Really? Wow. That's a big statement. You wanna try it? I mean, if you said that, yeah. It's like hot chocolate, but like melted. I don't even think you like chocolate coffee. Yeah, I don't. Which is weird, because it's only got one pump of mocha. Yeah, try that. Mocha's strong, though, because it's chocolate. <sighs> what are you doing? I do not want coffee on me. Oh, he gets mad when stuff gets on his shirt. That's actually really good. It's so good! Okay, friends, so we're back at home, and I'm about to tackle cleaning up this monster mess of Cincy. So we went to church, and we went and got lunch at the Mexican food restaurant. It was really, really good. I got a fajita salad with shrimp, and I'm tracking it for 14 bites and 410 calories. I didn't have the camera because the camera died while we were in the Starbucks line, but I personally feel like I didn't eat that much calories of it, but I want to make sure with like the ranch and the chips and also had chips and dip. So I'm kind of like counting my whole lunch as the 14 um, points with like the chips and dip because I had maybe, I think I counted 30 chips and I dipped it in the green sauce every single time. So we're just gonna go with that. Um, that's what I had for lunch today. I know that I haven't really been like doing my videos based off of 75 Soft. It's just kind of been one of those things where like it's gonna be a part of my life, but it's not really something that I'm focusing on on my social media. Um, it's really toxic to see the comments of people like talking about dieting and all this stuff. So mainly I'm just showing you what I'm eating, being accountable, working out. I've done all the things. And so um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't know, like tell me guys what you guys think. Um, but the puppies are playing with their toys and they're so stinking cute. I'm obsessed with them. Anyway, so we're gonna tackle this mess of Scentsy. We're gonna get in our pajamas. We're gonna start our book. I have yet to start a new book. I said I was gonna start tomorrow, yesterday, but I never started it. I'm gonna think I'm gonna start Ugly Love because y'all told me Ugly Love matches up with November 9, and I have both of those books. So I think I'm gonna do Ugly Love and then do November 9, and then, yeah. That's what we're gonna do.
whole separate video on this warmer and scent but i had to share it with you guys in this video as well because it is so stinking cute and you have to get prepared for the holidays because if you don't the holidays will creep up on you and you'll miss out so the next month of the next month warmer of the month and the scent of the month just came in for me because i get it a little bit earlier than you guys and i have to pay for it myself um but i got it in and i wanted to share with you guys so next month's scent of the month is called give me candy and i think i have paper of telling me where no i don't have the paper so the paper usually has like the scent notes and everything on it but this you guys smells like candy corn butterscotch vanilla this is the perfect i mean perfect transition scent from from breakfast to lunch am i hungry from fall from summer to fall like it is so good. Like I am so obsessed with this. So if you're not somebody that's really into like the pumpkin smells or the like the um, cinnamony smells, this is amazing for you. It's super sweet. It smells like butterscotch. It smells like cotton candy. It smells like candy corn. Less cotton candy, more candy corn. But like that sweet scent, it's really really good. So I really love this. You guys have to give this a try. And then the next one is the warmer. I'm sorry, do y'all dogs ever just like play bitey face and then you get worried that they're gonna hurt each other? Like Moose, you're so big, big boy. Oh, no, no. Get down. Your mommy has glass. You can't have glass. No, sir. So this is the warmer for next month and you guys, I'm literally obsessed. So it's an element warmer, which y'all know I love. I love me element warmers. I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit. So. He's an element warmer. He comes off like this. So that means that he has a hot plate. So here's the hot plate. And then this goes in between his hands. You slick it in right there. You have this little bat that goes on the thing. So you'll say one day till Halloween, two days till Halloween, everything like that. And then you stick his little head right on top and he is so cute. The details on this warmer is amazing. Um, I usually don't decorate for fall or October and things like that, but what I'll do... Anyways, this little man thinks that he is one of the big dogs and thinks that he can play all big and bad. And I'm like, no, ma'am. I mean, no, sir. You're a baby. You're a baby. I just bash him sandwich and you can't do that. And I'm sorry if my dog's barking or playing in the background bothers you. If that's kind of like telling your kid to stop talking... Like, I can't tell them to stop talking to each other. Like, they're talking and playing and running around having fun. I'm not going to stop them. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do a whole separate video on the warmer of the month, the scent of the month, go down, break down the prices, break down the cost for you guys, break down the scent, break down every little detail about this. So, you guys stay tuned for that video, and let's get cleaning up. Okay, y'all. So, y'all are all the way at the top, and I stocked up on my favorite scent, which is Jammy Time from Scentsy and it is for the summer only. So for the fall, I literally got in so many of these. So I thought I would take y'all with me while I organize them in here. And um, usually with these, if I do a really big order with a bunch of things like this, I like to keep a lot on stock and I'll make like little goodie bags. I'll give them as gifts. I give a lot to single moms because I know how much expensive like cleaning supplies can be. So like with, with people that have, you know, babies and stuff that need help, I will give them a bunch of like cleaning supplies and like trash bags and things like that. And I also donate a lot of my stuff to people as well. Um, but right now I'm just gonna organize these up here. I have quite a few, so let's go. So I got my kitchen chair. Let's see if I can reach. Can y'all see me? Oh, y'all can't see me. So I just like to organize my stuff. Usually I have this stuff upstairs, but I'm tired of walking up and down the stairs to get to my goodies. So I'm gonna start putting some stuff in here. I'm gonna get some baskets though, because I feel like it will just look better if it's in a basket, you know? Instead of just out in the open. Oh dear. One right there. And then, then one right there. That looks good. And then I also got, let me show you what I also got before the summer was over. I got a few of the, my camera literally died in the middle of me saying something. I gotta get better at charging this camera. Um, but before the summer is over, I picked up quite a few of these coconut daiquiri body scrubs. Anyways, I never share much of these Scentsy like bath products, so I wanted to show it to you guys. 
First of all, it smells absolutely amazing. I love their bath soak and their, uh, their scrubs are just as amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and- All right, friends, we are in the sexy room, the beauty room, and I wanted to show you guys this really cute sweatshirt that I'm wearing. It is from my girl from Lovely Nelly Tees. I wanted to shout her out because she's literally so stinking sweet. Since everything that goes on in my life, she's always there probably once a week giving me a word of encouragement. She sends me the cutest t-shirts ever, so I just wanted to share her business. Her business is very affordable. She has like t-shirts for like $15. That is so stinking cheap and you're supporting a small business and a lady that is so genuine and so kind. <sighs> I'm out of breath. When I walk up and down those stairs, I get out of breath, but I just wanted to share her. I just love her and I love to share businesses that have the same values as me and that truly are just genuinely good people. You can't find many like, you know, like good genuine people. Like she's just so sweet. I can't even explain it or express how she makes me feel. She just feels like a friend that like I never met. She's a friend I never met, but it's just such a good friend to me, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share her business and I'm also wearing these cute biker shorts from um, Shein, but this sweatshirt is from her and I believe it's under $25. A lot of people are always asking me like, how did I get my Scentsy collection to be so big? And I think it's because I have been collecting for a while. Like I have a lot of scents that are very old and that I just collected over the years or I go to shows and the shows that you go to, like they'll have like the older scents. And I just genuinely, like when I talk about Scentsy, like it just makes me smile because I love them so much. Like Scentsy has been such a big part of my life. And I feel like I relate a lot of things to scents. So, like when I was a little kid, my mom would spray her perfume on my teddy bear that I had, or it was a dog, but I was called a teddy bear. And every time she would leave or I would be without her, she would spray it with her perfume. And so when I smell that perfume, I just feel comfort and like my mom's there, you know? And so then like my Mimi had Cincy at her house and I can smell baked apple pie and it reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of my Mimi. And so I just feel like with Cincy, it, like scents remind me of certain things. And so when I smell a scent, like the Born to Shine scent, when I smell that, it reminds me of the day we picked up Kirby because I had that burning the day we picked up Kirby. And so it just genuinely reminds me of that day. Oh, look at my husband bringing me more. I got you, baby. Thank you. So I just, I just genuinely love Cincy because I just feel like it truly just reminds me of like different parts of my life and I can smell them and remember those parts. Um, that might sound cheesy or weird to some people, but that's just how my brain like relates to things. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I picked up. So I picked up probably 30 pods in the Scentsy Jammy Time. It is my favorite scent ever. And this video isn't turning into a Scentsy video. I'm just genuinely like talking and enjoying like this time right now. Um, I don't even know what that means, but like I just genuinely love talking about Scentsy. It just truly brings me joy. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Um, but I picked up these, they are my favorite scent. It's just so fresh and clean. It just oh, reminds me. Are you making fun of me? Ah. It reminds me of uh, just happiness. So I also picked up, I think, about five or six of these Blue Grottos. Luna is one of my really, what? Well, I was talking to Mimi. Oh, Luna is one of my really good favorites. It's a staple in Scentsy. If you are on the fence of trying Scentsy and you don't know what you want to try, Luna is a great first scent. Blue and Blue Grotto is good too, but Luna is just a sweet but clean perfumey scent. It's really, really good. Um, a lot of people ask me if I prefer pods over wax and it just depends on the area and the room. So in my bathrooms, I do prefer to use the pods because to me, I feel like the scent is just much more stronger in the pods in the bathroom. But if you have a pod in your kitchen, it doesn't last as much. Like it, the, the area is bigger to spread out. So I would do a pod and a wax in there. That's just how my personal preference is. Um, and then I also got a ton of these. These are $10 and it comes with 25 of these um, cotton things. So they're called cotton cleanups. And you make, the reason why I like these is because you can clean multiple warmers with one of these little things. It's easy cleanup because it has the tab that you just hold onto it. Um, I did get a lot of my favorite scent. Again, is jammy time. I got uh, a bunch of the laundry liquid. And then I don't think I got any of the softener because I'm not really a big like softener user. I just usually do um, the white water, wait, the white vinegar for the softener because it like leaves like dirtiness on our clothes. Um, and then I picked up a few of these because I have never really given their body care line like a chance. I haven't really used it as much. So I really wanted to use it and get to know the products. So I picked up a few different scents. This is the first one, it's coconut daiquiri. Coconut daiquiri is like one of my favorites from the summer. I have it in the hand soap, the body wash now, um, the sugar scrubs. And then this, this is what we're excited for. This is my big old box of 
last, this is my last summer order. And I know it may look good to some people, but I do share. And I do, like, I literally give, give, how much of this stuff do I give away? Probably like 70% of it. I always am giving this stuff away. So, like, look, did y'all know that um, since he has perfume? So, here's a Luna perfume. Like, that blows my mind that they have perfume. Um, so, I bought a bunch of their stuff to try out so that I can start, like, showing you guys, like, the different products and, like, answer questions for you guys. Um, so I got a bunch of the Luna ones, and I think I did get some of the Coconut Daiquiri ones. Um, but for some reason, recently, Clean Breeze by Cincy wow. has been my favorite in the pods. So I picked up a few in the, um, actual wax to try it out. It just smells like a really good, like, downy detergent, like, laundry detergent. It just smells so good. Of course, I got my girl, Jammy Time! And a few other scents that I got were the Star Apple Fresca. This is a new one. It's really good. Very strong. It has like a coconut perfume. Kind of reminds me more of like a fruity scent, but not as much fruit. More like cottony. I don't know. It's like a weird scent. Um, I got my mom some Aloha Citrus. These are her favorite. She wanted some more, so I got her some Aloha Citrus. And then I also got my sister some peak, uh, Peach Nectar. It's really, really good. Just smells like peach and nectar and amazingness. out we're about to go lay in bed and read that's just been that's just been kind of like our therapy these days is laying in bed reading and relaxing focusing on Gabe's health focusing on what makes us happy and so I'm making me some water right now we're gonna lay in bed and read and just chill for the rest of this Sunday um yes I use bottled water it's because our water out here is the worst we haven't really found a filtering system that we want to go with yet. There's like quite a few out where we live because the water out here literally is like the worst ever. I have my cute Stanley cup. Um, so there's a few that we can choose from. We just haven't chose yet because it's really, really, really expensive. A water filtering system is very expensive and I don't know what we want to do yet. So we're just not going to decide that yet. So I'm getting me a straw. I'm about to go. Could y'all ever look through y'all's straws and make sure that one has nothing in it? Do you ever look in y'all's straws and make sure there's nothing in it? I do. I'm extra. Um, but I'm about to go ahead and finish editing the other vlogs because I haven't put them up. Like I have three vlogs to post right now, including this one. It makes four. So I need to get my act together. I need to get in my room, start working, editing. Um, and yeah, I will see you back. I see you guys back when we make dinner. I think Gabe wants to smoke something on the smoker. So I'll let you guys know what we have for dinner. Um, but yeah, I love y'all. Bye. I don't know if I have shared with you guys what I ate today. So I'm going to show you guys my app. I think I showed you guys... Um, so far like what i had so i think i told you about the 14 bites and stuff but i wanted to talk more about the app and what i'm feeling so so far can you see it so far i'm really liking the app um it's kind of just exactly like weight watchers but it shows the calories like weight watchers didn't um i did notice in my my fitness pal app i wasn't adding in my workout so i thought that every step i took would add into my fitness pal but you actually have to go in there and like add in your workouts so I went back and added my workouts and it added like calories to my day and stuff and it actually changed up like what my day looked like because I worked out. So I did not know that. And then I can see on this app it says activity so I'll have to add my activity. Um, I usually just have been doing walks or just doing a cute little workout on um, the TV. That's really what I've been doing. Just showing that and doing that. And um, that's just kind of where I'm at. I feel like with this 75 Soft it's more of me using it in my day-to-day -day life to hold myself accountable so like if i were to tell myself i'm just going to count calories and track and not do the reading the exercising and the water i would fail because in my mind it's i have 75 days to do it and have this like um 
habit. So like normally I would just quit and mess up. So with my diet, I'm just following a lifestyle change more of eating the foods I still love and counting the calories and counting the points or counting the bites or whatever it may be, but I'm still living my life and eating the foods I enjoy. Like I had a cookie for Kirby's birthday. I had chips and dip today at the Mexican food restaurant. I ate out for breakfast. I ate out for lunch, you know? So I feel like I'm truly just taking these 75 days to create habits within myself. So I probably shouldn't call it 75 soft because I'm not truly following it. I'm following it the way that my diet says because it tells you to follow a diet that you choose. So the diet that I chose is Weight Watchers and Counting Calories, which is a lifestyle change. It's not technically, it's a diet. So we can call it a diet because it is a diet, but it's technically more like a lifestyle change. And my camera is about to die because I always don't charge this dang thing and it never stays charged because I never charge it. So there we go, I put it on the charger. But anyways, like I was trying to say is my 75 soft is different from everybody else's 75 soft. This is just my personal journey. It's not going to look like everybody else's journey. And that's the beauty of weight loss and videos and YouTube and TikTok. And you can follow who you want to follow and follow their journey the way that they do their journey. And this is just my true life journey. I like to make things real life because I know there's so many moms out there that tell me that I help them so much because I eat and do things like a normal person would do. And I'm not just eating spinach salads all day because as a busy mom and as a busy person, even if you're not a mom, if you're just a busy lady out in the world or a man, whoever you are, if you're just out there busy doing whatever, that's not a real lifestyle because it's easier to grab a cheeseburger than it is to get a salad. So if you can get your cheeseburger for eight bites or 400 calories, it's easier. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just kind of how the way my brain works. I think that if I cut out cheeseburgers, french fries, fast food, um, eating out, I would feel miserably because all I would do is crave those things. And the second the 75 days is over, all I would wanna do is eat those things. So if I give myself those things throughout the 75 days, but I portion it and I count it out and I do my best to eat it like at a good like portion, I think that I will potentially have a better result because I'm not hindering myself or cutting myself out or restricting myself from those good things. So that's kind of where I'm at these days. Let me know what you guys think down below. I love to talk with you guys. Um, but let's go start our new book and drink our water and yippee! Alrighty guys, it is time for dinner and tonight's dinner was such an easy, fun dinner. So I took some Tyson blackened chicken strips. I have a whole video on my TikTok page. I'll link down below. I took a bag of Tekken, Tyson. Tyson chicken strips. I did two blackened ones for myself and then one blackened one for Gabe. Excuse you over there. I did one blackened one for Gabe and then I did the Real Goods Food chicken bites and these two for him. There's two pieces in each. Um, I did some corn on the side, a little fruit salad, and then two pieces of this, um, their uh, hugs, their Hershey Kisses, like just the hugs kind. They have white chocolate and regular chocolate in them. And this is what our dinner is looking like. Let me grab my phone and we can go over the calories and the bites. Guys, having dogs is like having somebody watch you 24 stinking seven. They're like always watching. Um, but tonight's dinner, if I was just tracking bites, tonight's dinner would only be five bites, which is basically like points, which is amazing. All this food for only five bites is just so good. So I have the 90 calorie roll. So we would have two of those for 180 calories. We have our blackened chicken strips for 63 calories. We have our corn for 98 calories. We have our strawberries for 78 calories, and we have our grapes for 104 calories. Now, everything from here down is zero points or zero bites, but only count for the bread part, which I think is very cool and super awesome. So I am going to drink my water, finish up this. I need to put in my two Hershey Kisses, so let's go ahead and add that. I'll let y'all watch. Hershey Kisses Hugs. So I'm going to say we had two pieces for two bites and 47 calories, which is not too bad. So we have seven bites left for the night, and I'll come back if I have anything else. Behind the scenes of my TikTok, so I just made this dessert. So it is two of the leftover um, croissants from dinner. So I just took them, put them in the air fryer, and then took one tablespoon. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let's put that on my sleeve. Great. We love it here. Anyways, I took one tablespoon of this honey butter from um, honey butter butter sauce from Whataburger and I drizzled it over the top of two. So it has one tablespoon over the two of them. I'm going to have one. Gabe's going to have one. So they're 90 calories and then 80 calories. So 
Um, 90 plus 40, whatever that is. <laughs> okay, so I had to change my shirt because I got honey butter all over my shirt, but I wanted to try one of these croissants with you before I go take a shower. I'm gonna do, I'm trying to post on TikTok more because all my TikTok friends are mad at me because I'm not posting on TikTok. Um, but, because I've been being on here with my new friends on YouTube, because y'all are so sweet to me. Uh, mm, 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 she's good, she's good. She's really, really good. I said she's good. She's good. Okay, so this is my fourth bottle of water of the night. And as you can tell, when I like something, I start dancing. When my food's good, I start dancing. I can't help myself. I start singing my song that I sing when my food's good. Um, so those are really, really good. I've been trying to do my recipes over on TikTok and just kind of show you guys my daily day stuff here and then like my like, more details over here on the YouTube channel. I'm trying to figure out my balance and what works and everything like that. I know I keep talking about it, but it's like, well, okay. I just don't know like what my balance is and like what I'm trying to do here. So I'm just like talking to you guys because I have anxiety about it and it's like, insane. Um, Anyways, I'm going to take a shower. I'll come back and we'll make our sleepy time, nighttime tea. We'll do our nighttime tea routine. We'll go over all our calories and our bites for the day. We'll go over how we feel, what we're thinking, and we'll talk about my book. Okay, bye. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and end the night. So we're doing kind of like a recap over my day. I have my sleepy time tea right here. My book that I'm about to start reading because I have yet to start it. Um, so I have to get my 10 pages in for today or else I will be messing up my 75 soft. So this is what I'm ending my day at. I have four points left for the day. I used 35 today. Um, I had my breakfast for two bites. My lunch was 14 bites. My dinner was 10 bites. And then I did have, um, I did go on a walk today. So I did my 45 minutes of walking um and i really think today was a very good day i feel like it was kind of productive but still kind of laid back and fun at the same anyways thank you guys so so much for watching today's video i really appreciate every single one of you guys and love and appreciate all the kind comments the advice and the tips that you guys give me um we're all learning on this journey together and we're only going to get better as we go so i'm going to sip on my nighttime tea have my cute little pj set from target and we're going to go crawl up in bed enjoy this tea and get our week started because tomorrow Tomorrow is Monday, which means it's a fresh start and a brand new week. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!